Good morning. I'm here to fulfill my own prophecy. Holiday Starbucks drinks are back, so get over there. Bitch. Let's not mince words, shall we? We know why we're here. We all know why we're here, right? <laughs> A uh, day late because my kids both got pink eye at preschool. Shane Dawson's long-awaited nightmare series kicks off with... The perfect victimization of his past adventures in blackface. And of course, Jeffree Star's past journey with a taser in the N-word. Ultimately culminating in their mutual cancellation. Cancellation. <laughs> the slap on the wrist. Just a, just a gentle tap. And now I don't want to brag, but I absolutely predicted this series, which I feel like a lot of people did. Because... <laughs> why would we make new content when we could just recycle old content? <laughs> Said the person who watches other people's videos for a living. So, I'm not bragging, but I did predict this. It's not impressive. They're very predictable. Anyway, we need to get cracking on this much too long first part of this three-part series. Um, and before we do, give the video a like, subscribe, all that jazz. Because, quite frankly, if I'm being honest, these are moments of my life that I'll never get back. Buffy makes award-winning betting that's soft on you and on the earth. My god, Buffy, have you no standards? Oh. You are mistaken. Now, I love Buffy for so many reasons, not just because they were the first sponsor of my podcast, but because I actually use their products every single day. Oh, do they make piss bottles? No? Oh. That's just shot in the dark. We're not gonna watch the rest of this sponsorship because I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hand that to you or make you sit through it, but um I would like to know what Shane's ad rates are now for a you know 30 second integration. I wonder what he still gets paid. What with how cancelled he is and whatnot. Cancelled being the... Okay, so it is February 7th, 2020, and today we are going to the lab to look at samples for the next palette. Done. Next palette? Are you kidding me? Did you miss your entire breakdown about how you really weren't interested in makeup? And how you really didn't care? Or was that just because you got cancelled? At least he's being forthright about this entire video being an ad for a new palette. One big glorified ad. I am so excited. So, okay. I didn't want to do a whole series and I don't, I don't know. I was like, listen, I'm just going to document this journey on my phone, but I just want to show you guys the process, but also just for myself. Like I, I like looking back on stuff like this, so. And of course, collecting the AdSense and the um, the brand checks, plus all the tax write-offs. <laughs> I could see where you'd, you'd want to document it just for yourself, right? Here we go. Oh good, the classic jump in time so you have absolutely no idea where you are or what's going on at any given moment Shane Dawson timeline. I love that. I love not knowing where we are, when this is happening, or how long we've been here. Have we gone back? Are we going forward? Where are we going? Time isn't linear, but storytelling should be. Now. Let me guess how we're going to open up on this shot. We're going to see Shane by himself, and he's going to be uncertain about something. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting like scary good at this. You okay? <laughs> no. What's wrong? Jeffrey just FaceTime me. He says as Chris is sitting there in his home. At least when Andrew was like filming, and I'm biased because I am like team Andrew all the way every day. At least when Andrew was filming, he'd be like, so you just got off the phone with Jeffrey, huh? Or, you know, he would prompt the question and like, 
and you didn't have to pretend that he wasn't in the room. Remember in the closet a few hours ago when I told you that I was nervous? I didn't know why, but with Jeffrey, there's no way something's not gonna happen. Um, no, because you went from February of 2020 uh, to 2.5 years later, and this was the um, first shot. But like, that kind of feels like... <sighs> like, I just knew. I felt, I could feel the energy of like, a bomb is gonna drop. Like, I can feel it. It's happening. I don't know when, I don't know what, but something's gonna happen. Oh no. <sighs> Okay, honey, we started in February of 2020, then we moved two and a half years later. Now we're going back 12 hours. I hate word problems. If this timeline gets any less linear, <laughs> we're gonna punch a hole in the space-time continuum, I swear to God. Then we'll have to live with not knowing about whatever overpriced, sickening palette you're working on. You know what? Just do it. Punch the f***ing hole. Oh, Summertime. Shane? Okay. Summertime. Hi. Where's Shane? So I'm guessing Shane was like, okay, here's the plan. Chris, you come inside and you try to find me. Pretend to be concerned. We'll add some pseudo poignant B roll in there that adds absolutely nothing to the story. But I'm going to be doing something ridiculous when you come upstairs. I'm just trying to follow the formula here because all of Shane Dawson's series are fairly formulaic at this point. Um, it all starts with, let's show you something from the past. Um, this is really intense. I don't know what I should do. Wait, oh my God, I'm scared. Uh, you know, the usual. Okay. Um, Chrissy, where are you? Am I allowed in here? <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't even know you were filming. How weird, I'm not ready. <laughs> euthanize me uh no hi okay first of all hi hi <laughs> hi to you too hi to everybody this is weird we haven't been here in a minute in the closet i mean <laughs> stinks <laughs> you know no one makes shane dawson laugh quite as hard as uh shane dawson <laughs> Anyways, okay. You didn't choose cat allergies. Less than four minutes in and already a mid-roll. <laughs> Sickening. No, get that coin. Go ahead. Get it. Actually, the reason I'm starting the video in the closet is to show you how many clothes I have. We'll get to that. But I guess there is a metaphor here. Because today, we're in the closet, and I'm gonna come out. I thought you did that already. You think people can only come out once? Oh, I'm sorry. Baby, it's 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Strap in. Uh, no, I wanted to do a video being uh, open, vulnerable, and talk about myself. Wow, what a nice change of pace. I think this video gave me heartburn. We'll get into that in a second. But first, my closet. Every good series needs a reveal, right? I'm gonna try to figure out better reveals for this one, but I'm gonna start this series, which I think I'm gonna call a Mind of Shane Dawson. Literally, I totally 100% predicted this. I know that this is this seems to be sort of tangential to this idea of the Mind of Shane Dawson or whatever, but I literally said that he was making a series about himself. I'm not gonna say that I'm psychic. Seriously, I think this video gave me heartburn. And I just feel like, you know me, right? I only have one shirt. I wear one shirt, one pair of pants, and that's it. They smell, and they're falling apart. Cool. I was gonna, um, I was gonna leave, but this really just pulled me in. So don't worry, I'm here for the duration now. So to see my closet filled with clothes, are you shook? Are you confused? No. Am I supposed to be? These are all yours? These are all mine. Well, I kind of am, actually. <laughs> but it's kind of not real because they're really just for my podcast, which, oh my God, speaking of reveals. If you didn't know, I have a podcast. Yeah, yeah, we know, you have a podcast. We, we got it. And Chris is on it, my brother Jared's on it, and Rylan's on it, it's really fun. And reveals he will indeed kill Shane if Shane cheats on him, gives him chlamydia, 
and is a gaslighting asshole. And I can confirm, I will kill him. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot happening here. <laughs> there is. Although, you know what? I am trying to, like, get out of my comfort zone, and I have been trying to wear brighter colors. Like, I wear this sometimes. Ooh. You know, I'll wear a little white jacket. Like, I'm trying. I love that one on you. I remember that one. <laughs> just a quick reminder that this is the series that shane has been teasing for like well over a month now oh i really have heartburn this is the series that he's been teasing this big series this series he's so proud of and i'm so fucking confused about what goddamn day it is <laughs> It's easy, baby. That's all I gotta do. <laughs> Give me one semi complex um, and I'll get you semi hard. <laughs> like, I don't have any problems with this, like, in a big way. Like, jokes like that with your friends or whatever. But if you have a partner who's like, oh god, do I have to come to defense of Ryland again? But, like, if you have a partner who's very clearly, like, insecure. And I can confirm, I will kill him. I don't know if, if he has actual concerns about Shane cheating. I get this feeling that, that Ryland is very afraid of Shane cheating on him. Making jokes like that with... Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my perception of this is wrong. But I feel like Ryland would be uncomfortable with Shane making that joke with Chris alone. In a closet. And I can confirm, I will kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just spitballing. I'm not trying to reach. I'm just, I'm just spitballing. When I try to reach, you'll f know it. Because my fat ass will be right in your face. <laughs> not the full thing, though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you gotta close your eyes and think of someone else for that. Alright, let it go. Your sense of humor is immature and stupid. One joke like that, funny. The 95 follow-up jokes can can go. That's that's quite okay. We're we're good. We got we got it. You were gonna suck his Yeah, so here's my closet, big reveal. Should I wear something colorful today? No. <laughs> was... Okay. So here's why I'm thinking of doing this video. I went on Instagram because I woke up this morning and I was like, I really want to film something. We haven't filmed in Colorado in oh my god. Like a year. Since which one? Since the haunted? Yeah. No way. Yeah. You mean since the time y'all disrespected the grounds of an indigenous massacre? <laughs> it has been a long time. It really has been. Because we went back to LA for a while and then I haven't really filmed that many videos since. I wanted to do something fun. And last night I went to bed and I was like praying and I was like, God, just two more inches. Just two. <laughs> jokes. I was like, you know, I want to make something soon. Like, I want to do something I'm really excited about. I'm like, I really want to do another documentary. I don't know what it's going to be about. I don't know who it's going to be on, but I just got that feeling. So I just prayed. And I'm like, God, bring somebody into my life to do a documentary about. Then I went on Instagram when I woke up and I was like, who do you guys want me to do something on just to see? Because I have no idea what's popular anymore. I literally don't. Know. So I went on there and I was like, who should I do? And there was a lot of good ideas, but a lot of people were saying, do one on yourself. And I'm like, well, I can't do, like, I can't interview myself because then I know the questions. So like, what does that even mean? Then I thought, I'll make Christian. <laughs> Whatever Chris is getting paid, it's somehow too much and not enough all at the same time. Like, if we just go through one of my days, <laughs> um, cut out all the depressing parts, it's gonna be a really short video. <laughs> <laughs> this self-deprecating humor never gets old. You ask me questions throughout the day. Let's start tomorrow. I'm tired. <laughs> you ask me questions throughout the day, and then I'll have to answer them truthfully and honestly. And then maybe like throughout the day, you know, we could have other people ask me stuff. Like we're going to be going with Ryland to the vet, and we're going to be going to his family's house. So like maybe his family could ask me questions. Okay, here's the thing. Why didn't you just do that part? <laughs> like, why do we need the setup of, hey, can you ask me questions about me? <laughs> like, can you just do that part? Like, skip this part and just do that part. Do your own intro and then do the questions part. You can do it as a confessional. I'm seeing throughout the course of this video, you sort of see in the past few series, like with the one with um, like Brittany Louise Taylor and like Chuck E. Cheese and all that, they, he's typically intertwines 
two to three story like storylines storylines so it seems like we're intertwining his cancellation but also like his like all about me with what's gonna happen with Jeffrey but I do need to figure out a big reveal because like every series needs a reveal is the reveal that you have nothing to make a series about so you're just trying to meld a bunch of garbage together and hope that it's interesting enough to be content I mean, it's it's got 1.6 million views as of today, which is great, but um, it's this isn't interesting. So I don't know what it is yet, <laughs> but at the end of this video, there will be a big secret exposed. I can't tell if that's spit or lip gloss on his mouth. Um, and honestly, either way, I want to vomit. Is that the big reveal? <laughs> do you have anything in mind? <laughs> like how Chris was like, um, do you have any direction for this video? <laughs> I'm just gonna film you. Oh, the heartburn. I'm just gonna film you do, doing... What? What do you, what do you want me to ask you questions? What is happening? And what day is it? Um. I have some things I can make up. <laughs> I don't know. I need to figure this out. I'm sure there is, right? Like, I have to have some it's kind of a secret. Yeah, you do need to figure this out. You should probably figure this out before you start rolling. Like, no wonder this took so long to edit because it was like four hours of what are we filming while we're filming? And what day is it, for fuck's sake? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Oh. Oh, uh, ooh, I got one. Okay, I got one. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it because I need to get approval, but I'm gonna see if I can do this and there will be a secret exposed. Wow, I'm really at the edge of my seat and wishing that I was at the edge of a cliff so that I could jump. <laughs> what day is it? Who knows? <laughs> Just got to the lab. Okay, first of all, I saw that car, the pink one, the other day in Colorado. And if Jeffree Star is in Colorado, I don't really care. But I also like that there's a security guard in the parking lot, you know, for this very serious business in this industrial part of town. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, how did you so I'm freaking out. I wasn't gonna film any of this and then I got excited this morning and I'm like, wait, I have to. Wait, uh, wait, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Look at my face, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. This is me freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. The world <laughs> The world's ending. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta film every moment. You know that they're actually maybe running minis right now. We gotta see what's going really? on. Yeah. With the green? Yes. Oh my god! Wait, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should just give you random updates about like what's been going on since it's been so long. So we're back in time now, right? Now it's 2022? What day is it? Also, like, it wasn't till that summer, right? It was summer of 2020 that Shane officially got cancelled, right? So they were like... They were ready to go on whatever it is that they were working on. Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, there's been a lot in the last year. Does everyone know? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, between, I don't want child, dog, I mean, uh, there's a lot of- I think so. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a baby. That's kind of a reveal, but not really, because Brandon makes videos talking about it. It's a big scary reveal, is what it is. We're gonna have a baby. But that's huge. It better not be. <laughs> oh no, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Again, jokes that are fine in private, but probably shouldn't go on the internet. That baby is not getting my genetics. We are not, that is not <laughs> happening. Not kidding. Maybe, maybe one of them. I don't know, I'm scared. We'll talk about that later. We haven't seen my bedroom yet. Are no, you I, see it? I don't think I have. This is, wow. Wow, look at, what? Sorry. Um, aren't you rich enough to hire a cleaner? What? That's very pretty in here. Oh, have you guys seen my bathroom? <laughs> oh my god, reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Chris! Yes? This is our 
puppy crate because we have a puppy. That's a reveal. This feels like a episode of Blue's Clues where we're looking for the reveal. I get wanting to add stuff like this for levity and like I filler even if you don't have a lot of your actual content. Um, but I really have a hard time being interested in your series when almost all of it is filler. And you can't stay in one timeline. I did. Okay, so when I went on Instagram and I was like, oh, who should I do a series on? There was one person that I was like, oh my god, that would be so iconic. But like, they're never going to do it. And like, I'd have to pay them a lot of money. I like, I texted the person just because I was like, I mean, I might as well just take a shot. And be like, hey, I know I'm canceled and like everybody hates me, but like, I want to like do a series. And I texted the person and they wrote back right away. And they were like, fuck yes. I ha I did text them back and I was like, are you sure? Because like being canceled and then you'll probably get bad press. And then like, I don't want you to, you know, blah, 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 blah. blah. And uh, they haven't texted me back yet. <laughs> was it Reba? <laughs> no, Reba would never. You know, I might have been born just plain white trash, but fancy words are my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I just what? got another big reveal. What? <laughs> oh my god, this is... <laughs> Can we please get a closer shot of um, the rip in the, the thigh of Shane's pants? Anyone? Just closer. Yeah, so maybe we could just get the skin just like falling out even. Like a little mini muffin top. Oh, Chris is on it? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god! Oh no, I did not think that was gonna happen with these. Oh no. Okay, okay, I'm fine. It's okay. Oh my god. I'm fine. You know what? I'm a daddy now. Who cares? Please don't ever refer to yourself as a daddy. Even when you become a parent, just just don't say that word. It's, it's bad. Um, anyways, what was I talking about before I started spiraling about my thigh popping out of my pants like a <laughs> Pillsbury muffin tin can? This. Literally, the editor in me, when I watch Shane's videos, and I'm not, I'm, obviously, I have, like, a 24th of <laughs> the subscribers that Shane does, but the editor in me, when I see things like this, where he's showing, like, B-roll of people holding these cans of, like, you know, biscuits or crescents or whatever that is gonna pop open, like a finish your dialogue like a beat of silence pop the can that's that's all you need people know what crescent rolls and biscuits and stuff look like in those things like you don't it's just so much unnecessary b-roll and filler you hit your point and the joke so much better if you just if you if you just minimized what you were doing instead of trying to maximize it here's how i would have done it Hmm. Oh! Back to the reveals! <laughs> Chris, how are you? God, I need to ask you how you are. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> happy to be here. Colorado's my happy place, so. You're my happy place. He said with his fiance downstairs on the couch. Oh, um, not horrible. But... <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Why? I don't know. Life's hard. You know. You, know. you get it. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, also, there's just like lotion and napkins in the background of the shot. That's because Rylan, uh, he jerks off because he can't fuck me. <laughs> no! That wasn't even a, a good callback. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Just, here's how you make the series better, okay? You delete all the footage. What are the reveals? big reveals. I'm taking over the lab, honey. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Sabrina, are we running it now or what's happening? I think maybe conspiracy. Ooh, Ooh okay. Fine. We can go look out there. So anyways, getting that out of the way. Yes. We're going to the lab. Okay, so here's how it worked. Okay, here's let me tell you why this doesn't work. Because both storylines are technically about Shane, right? Usually the storylines are about somebody else. 
and something else and those intertwine and while we're still jumping in time to get to those it's so much less confusing because they're not both the same subject matter this is shane in the past and shane in the present and we're doing this with the timeline you see and it's hard to keep up with this timeline or this timeline because this timeline could be this one and this one could be this one and nobody ever really fucking knows what's happening <laughs> Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm too stupid for this. Cheers. I think literally the day after the palette was manufactured, we were talking about the green shade. Like, what should we do with the green shade? And then we were like, well, should we just do another palette? And then we just started brainstorming and we were voice memoing back and forth just with ideas for names and colors and this and that. Just like, I don't know, having fun. I'm officially crawling in the urn right fucking now. We're both the type of people where, yes, the palette was successful. The series is over. Everything's done. Okay. Here's the other thing that bothers me. If if I was making this video, right, it's the canceled world of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, and we're picking up at a point prior to their cancellation where <clears throat> they're still in decent standing with the community and uh, whatnot, and it's almost like a pick up where they left off sort of thing. It's been literal years. And I think while everybody kind of remembers the bare bones of the situation with the conspiracy palette and all of that, the production, um, where it was all put out, Dramageddon that went with it, it would be really good if, at least in this first episode, we got the background a little bit of what had happened back in the series he did with Jeffrey last time. And the only reason I say that is because... He mentions things like the green shade that they made an extra little mini palette with um, or sold individually. See, I don't even fucking remember at this point. Instead of going back and really going through that footage again and saying, oh yeah, here's where this happened. Or, you know, Jeffrey and I worked on this palette. Here's footage from this. Like really kind of giving context to this so that if someone who maybe just got into Shane Dawson's videos or content or whatever, or came from Ryland's channel or, you know, all those unlikely things. They can come to this video and have the full context of what's happening or not happening or what has happened. Um, I just think it would make for better storytelling than whatever this is. The screenshotting colors and anytime I saw a color like online or in my house or when I was at a restaurant or something that I liked, I would take a picture of it and I would zoom in on the color and I add it to the album. So today they have all the samples ready. It's been like two months or something. So now we're going, we're going to see all the samples and I'm freaking out. This is so cool. I'm just excited. Yeah, you did this last time. It felt disingenuous then and it feels just as disingenuous now. I don't know. Like, I'm not expecting this to be as big as the first palette. I know that. And, and so is Jeffrey. We're both just doing this because we want to and we're excited. I don't think we're going to order a million of them. I don't think it's, we're not doing a series. Like, it's, it's different and I'm okay with that. Now that I know more about makeup and now that I'm way more in the makeup world and I'm doing makeup more and I'm like really excited about the color story and I'm not just like basing colors off the names I chose. Like, I don't know the names yet. I'm literally basing it off of like, what colors do I gravitate toward? What do I like to use when I'm playing with makeup by myself or doing it on somebody else? And what do I think could be the next trend in 2020? Because I'm really into that. Didn't he just get done saying in 2022 that he doesn't know what anything is anymore in terms of trending things? I mean, maybe he was just more aspirational in 2020, as we all were. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm excited. So here we go. Oh my God. Hopefully it doesn't block. We'll see. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh my God. There she is. And there's the puppy. <laughs> see, now we're in present day. See what I mean? There's like no delineation between like, I mean, you really have to have a hard remember that chain's in the closet in 2020. Chain is filming in the closet in 2020. And they got a puppy in 2022 so you, it's like it's a lot of using context clues which is fine make your audience work but like 
This just feels like a lot of work. So what's going on? Well, okay, I want to do a series about somebody, but so far nobody has said yes except for one person, and it's kind of a maybe. <laughs> so I thought in the meantime to get back into the groove of things, I would do a series about myself. <laughs> but like you guys are asking the questions. <laughs> I was going to say during your cancellation, did you love me less or more coming out of it? Oh my god, I love you more every day. Well, I mean, depends on the day. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in a relationship where every day I love the person more and more. I mean, how many years are we in? Like Six 20. and a half. Honestly, only because it's hard to have a newborn child. I wait till you guys have an actual child um, and see how actually hard that is. All right, well, think of a question, something deep, something that's going to make me cry. What's your next big move? Well, I need to get new pants. <laughs> this one's ripped. Um, really? Say it like that. <laughs> well, maybe um, instead of doing nine million, like five below hauls and um coffee tasting um instead just buy like five pairs of the same pants that fit you the best it's like the cardinal rule of owning pants oh my God. <laughs> i mean you don't have other pants <laughs> i know <laughs> I don't know. Oh God, wait, now I, I'm gonna start crying. Because <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, so I guess I need to get pants, but that's not fun for a video. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you think of something. Actually, no, you've done that. <laughs> to be fair, you did ask him to make you cry. <laughs> okay, so, okay, we have to take the animals to the vet. <laughs> now, just to keep it real, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> but face lotion in my hair. Oh my god, Riley! Okay, so I just want to show you like a realistic day in my life. Like I feel like that could be not interesting. Definitely not as good as a series I would do on somebody like, I don't know. Like Jeffrey? <laughs> How is it? Are you still friends with Jeffrey? I'm sorry, that's like the most planted question of all time. Get out! <laughs> what? what? Who do you think I am? What? You think I'm not loyal? I'm just asking. I know. I love Jeffrey's. Oh my god. Hi. Is that what you asked them? <laughs> I'm using his skincare. Um, and by the way, don't blame Jeffrey for my skin. <laughs> <laughs> no, so of course I'm still friends with Jeffrey. So I actually thought about that. I was like, should I just go to Casper, Wyoming and go to the Yak Farm and do a series with Jeffrey with his yaks? Okay, so this is how I start my mornings. And I'm like, but that would be confusing because like... <sighs> <laughs> like how does the camera know what to focus on? Because like, is it a yak? Is it me? <laughs> it's like very confusing. <sighs> okay, so we need to go to the vet. Um, and yeah, just keep asking me questions. Like whatever you think would be a good series, you know, deep dive. Yes, way to put it all on Chris, who literally is just your cameraman. Awesome. Nothing says creative potential, like I have no idea what the hell we're doing here. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, are these the shades already? Yeah. yeah. Oh my oh. god, wait, okay, I was not prepared. Okay, um, the last time you were in the closet, you literally said- Okay, so it's February 7th, 2020, and today we are going to the lab to look at samples for the next palette. So you, you absolutely were prepared, though, so, um... Holy fuck. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Diet Coke. Okay, straws. <laughs> Hold on. Um, okay. Why? Why was that inserted there? Why was that there? And then we're back in the bathroom. This the timeline. Oh, I hate. I hate it. I hate the timeline. I hate it. I don't ever remember it being this bad. It's getting worse. By the time YouTube fades out for us, TLC is going to be calling and it's going to be animal murders. I love that you think YouTube hasn't faded out for me yet. <laughs> that is so sweet. Well, I was looking at my main channel earlier and it was depressing. Like, we, I used to be popular too. <laughs> yeah, baby, you chose the wrong coattails, didn't you? Do you have any hair gel? I gotta look good for your videos. Do I have any hair gel? Uh, he put face cream in his hair. I put, yeah, I did that. Uh, <laughs> but oh, I do have a. Uh, hold on. Oh, smells like the one person who didn't turn on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shame.
<laughs> I really don't think you should go there. Because Jeffrey's just as problematic as you are. And by problematic, I mean that y'all share a very racist history. <laughs> That's a good idea. Right? Yeah. Oh <laughs> okay, listen, if this shade is not in the Shane 2 palette, I'm gonna quit. I've it's... already I've already said in my little vlog okay. that temporarily we think we're going with Oh my god. Right? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It feels good. We might change it. Okay, okay. So I told only two people on our team that name and they were like like Yes, I'm sure both of those people had very small confusing orgasms. Also, the palette has a name that Shane isn't revealing, which tells me that no matter what happens, the palette is, is going to come out. Also, if the palette isn't called canceled, then I don't know what we're doing here. Okay. No, yeah. Because <laughs> it's almost like, uh, oh my god. Wait, what do we do? I don't want to look at all of them yet because I want to like savor each them, one. Some of them are distracting me, but... Um, no, just, I'm already dying over a little bit. Should we What is this camera work? Da, fetch me the drama beam. First, the black one that you just showed it? Yeah, I mean, this is so good. Let me flash. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Hi. Wow. Oh, oh wow. my god. Fuck. I hate that I love that. But not as much as I hate the like seemingly sexually aggressive agreement happening in the background. Yes. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. It literally looks like cotton candy, but with such a cool gothic base. Like Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh bitch. Oh, wow. Wow. That on the lid? Like mm. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah, arm hair. Even though this is a muted color, I'm really gravitated to this bizarre muted lavender that's kind of like my Scorpio liquid lip, but not. Sorry, let me go ahead. Wait, can I tell you an idea I just had? Yes. I thought because you're such a Scorpio and I'm such a cancer. Yes, I'm the perfect match. And we're the perfect match. I was thinking, what if we had a shade Scorpio and a shade cancer? Ooh. And you just said, oh, this is just like Scorpio. It, it's sick, yeah. It's dope. Okay, I mean, I'm really down for that. Wow. Yeah, these ideas are so revolutionary. Like, the British are about to surrender. Whoa. Oof, it's just such oh, a it cool muted so color. Cool next to the black. Wow. You know what's cool about is that we're really, not that we didn't do the other one together, but conspiracy is like Shane to the fucking core. <laughs> and I love that we're kind of like combining us into this. I love Jeffrey's like cakey mismatched foundation. My foundation is also cakey and mismatched, but I also don't own like a multi-million dollar makeup company. Already, I'm kind of like... I, and I love it next to the black because there's purple inside of that. Yeah. Wait, Such oh my god, wait, song. I really love it. Wait, I'm getting so excited. Oh, oh my god, it's fucking happening. <laughs> right? This is crazy. Okay, I love these two. The ones that I love, I'm going to put in okay, okay. here. Okay. And then... Should we just keep going? Oh my god, should you? I don't know. I mean, if Shane soils these pants, he doesn't have any others. Oh no, wait, this is 2020. He still has pants. Seriously, I have no idea what timeline we're in, ever. So, oh my god. Cheeto! You guys haven't seen Cheeto yet. He's been hiding. He doesn't want to be involved in this series. <laughs> I know. I know. Put the cat down. Oh, Cheeto. Ooh, I know a secret I can share. What? Okay, it'll just take a second. What's, what? What? <laughs> wow. Rylan couldn't be more over this right now. Also, I still think he low-key worries about Shane and Chris. Because his attitude tends to change when Chris is around. I think says, I'm secure in my relationship. Like, constant fear of infidelity. Okay, so... You know I've been on my um, accepting my body journey for 34 years. <laughs> well, that was a good joke. I liked that. Well played. You get one in one video. The other day, um, I felt like I was getting boobs. And I asked him, I was like, am I getting boobs? And he started laughing at me. Well, it was the delivery. And then he made me pull out that camera and test film him <laughs> so he could see if he had boobs. <laughs> <laughs> You are not allowed to expose me like that. That is so mean. No, it's true. It's him. Okay. This is me. 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 
Crap. Testing for Boobs was the name of the band I was in in high school. We didn't do very well. But what a collective wreck. Still fit in my clothes. <laughs> oh no, I did not think that was gonna happen with these. Oh, oh no. You don't have a I know! <laughs> <laughs> so then I went on Amazon and I bought a couple man girdles. And they're called men shapers. Because yeah, I was like, well maybe I need a girdle because of my boobs. This is sad, should I start crying? <sighs> Wait, don't look at me like that. Yeah, Ryland, you sold your soul for this. Congratulations. Here's a lifetime of confusing purchases and and self-deprecating humor. Oh, I mean, I guess normalized shapewear Kim Kardashian has. <laughs> yeah, Kim Kardashian has made money off of women who use shapewear. I guess that's what we call normalizing profiting off of the need to be thin that is perpetuated by a society that hates fat people. But yes, normalized shapewear, because Kim Kardashian has. Not that I have any problem with shapewear, go for it, do what you gotta do. Making the bigger point, thank you. Yeah, make America self-conscious about their bodies again. <laughs> now we're gonna be late to the vet. Okay. <laughs> Wait, should I put on my girl? I should. No, that's to the vet? <laughs> I mean, if anyone deserves to call Shane out. I think it's the cat. Okay, we just gotta go. <laughs> Should we just keep going? Yeah. yeah oh yeah, wait, wow. here's the picture of, um, I have my album. <gasps> just colors I like. Wow. I really like that top Ford blue. That's sick. Um, Amazing. oh, and then I, I made a top row, like. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. so I made this on Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And then this is the color I wanted for that top yeah. shimmer. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, it's definitely. Ooh, feels good. Oh, wow. Hi. Oh, yeah. Why are we talking to and about makeup like we're gonna f it? Wow. Oh, oh my god. And that one I like because it almost felt wet. It felt different than your usual. Mm -hmm. It just like has that extra, like, oh dear lord. I've never once had the urge to talk to makeup like I was trying to take it home after. A long night at the bar. Consensually, of course. But just the same. It's weird. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Oh, no. Whoa. Hi. Hi, cuties. Do you need to start moving, sweetie? <laughs> Wait, so since this is stressful, oh. yes. speaking of, you guys have a baby. Yeah, so on Ryland's channel, we've been uh, documenting the journey, which is going to be weird because we don't want to ever show our kid. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like if we did the whole Jeffrey conspiracy series, and then if I just like never showed the palette. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like if you did the Jeffrey series and then like tried to like skate over all the drama yet and stuff that you promised in the trailers, and um... Oh wait. But whatever. I mean, we can't never show our child. The child just isn't going to be the focal point of the video. No, we can't show our child. Y'all should probably get on the same page about that, because that's kind of a, a big deal. And for once, I'm Team Shane. Well, okay, we can, maybe we can show pieces of the child. Pieces? <laughs> yes, like a hand. <laughs> child pieces. I don't know, it's weird. Arm, a leg, but never the face. If all goes right, I think by next July, we're gonna have a cancer baby. <gasps> no way. I know, can you imagine? We don't know whose sperm we're using because we haven't got to that part yet. They have to like cook it up and see which one's better. <laughs> We'll use whoever's is better. Or we were thinking twins, one of each. Yeah, you can't pick twins. That's They're either both gonna take or they're not. Or, honestly, at this point, we are so excited to have a kid that we don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I like, mean- Somebody could literally drop a kid off in our truck and I would take it. Yeah, that absolutely does sound like something you would do. I, I don't know, I, 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 in all seriousness, like, given what the things that Shane was canceled for, wouldn't you want to be a little more cautious, maybe, about how you speak about children on your channel? I mean, like, even taking just the tiniest iota of caution. It's, it's not, not a huge deal in this particular, what he just said, but, like, I just, I feel like if there's things that you're going to be more cautious about going forward, post cancellation i feel like as you're preparing to be a parent after many scandals involving 
children, maybe, just maybe, that should be the the part of all this that you clean up a little bit. <laughs> We're ready for any possibility, honestly. Why is Ryland harnessing the dog? He's driving. Also, you're rich. Like, get some, like, harness seatbelt systems for those dogs. Keep them safe, for fuck's sake. You know that when you have a child, you have to buckle the, the child in, right? Like, please tell me that's just like a basic thing that you do know. Trisha Paytas surprised me, and I didn't think that was possible. the vet should we go and get them all puppuccinos the absolute ridiculous length of this car ride um dogs ass footage etc is literally all the proof i need that god does not exist i really just watched this one yeah. so this was like one of my favorite colors and i took a screenshot of there's a scene in the last series where you're holding a green cup and i was like that color. oh wow yeah that's such a cool tone oh yeah this is way different yeah. Okay. But you know when people, if they don't see them come here, oh, maybe like, they're just trying to make the same palette again. Uh-huh, honey. <laughs> Whoa, these four already look so oh good together. God. I'm just saying. <laughs> High inspiration. High deteriorating brain activity. Oh, yeah. That wow. is already, like, <laughs> happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's already out. Why are we so quick? Like, oh, oh, Okay, so here's the plan. Riley doesn't need to go to the vet. Um, so you stay in the car with Riley, is that okay? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Be safe, have fun. <laughs> ah, Riley! Oh, your daddy's left us, I'm sorry. Will you just calm down? We're not even, the car's not moving. Are you okay? Your heart is beating really fast. Not to be a dick during a sweet moment here, um, but a dog's heartbeat is not, in fact, uh, in their spine. You're giving me anxiety. <laughs> okay. Okay. This was kind of the color that inspired it. Mm -hmm. Your whole mm -hmm. mood. It did. Yeah. Huh? It's giving very. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> Oh, yes, okay. We need a few, like, kind of safe in. I was literally going to say, what do you think about, like, I do think we need a good transition every day and a good everyday brown. Should we have one that's more of like a gray tone nude or more of like a pinky nude? Because I feel like a lot of girls and guys do like that one. Oh, yeah, because it's is so, such like, a cool perfect. color and it looks sick next to the red. You look sick next to the red. How did it go? Um, well, we found out that our dogs are fat. Oh, <laughs> wait, really? Going on, honey. Both need to lose 10 pounds. She said start with five. <laughs> Same. This means that we can't go get puppetinos. What? No, they got so many shots. Their diet starts tomorrow. I think Rylan's going to be a good dad. That's good dad energy right there. There you go. That's my one nice thing. You got my one laugh and my one nice thing. I'm out. Can I get three puppuccinos? Oh, they're they're loving it. Well, yeah, they're a little overweight. Of course, they love it. <laughs> wow, this is crack for them. Wow. <laughs> you know, we're just chowing down. Is that how the video should end? <laughs> <laughs> is well, that enough? Hope you enjoyed this day in our lives. <laughs> well, I didn't, but it could still end. I'd be okay with that. Responsible. Hello. How are you? Bruce. Bruce is a loose cannon and I love him. Guys, how are you? Hello. Hi, Chris. How are you? Goodness. We're filming a series about my mind. About your mind. Hi. So, Hi. so we're going uh, to retain my life and we're asking me questions that I would ask if I was doing a series about myself. So do you have a, a personal question for me that would be really uh, revealing? <sighs> Roast him, Grandma. Also, like, imagine going to your in-law's house and being like, <laughs> Ask me stuff about me. <laughs> like, what a weird fucking thing to do. Are we feeling? Like, pretend you're Oprah. Like, try to make me cry. Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm thinking if I was younger and he was older, 
I will be involved with you. <laughs> Grandma, what the fuck? I believed in you. Also, this reaction combo of Shane and Vicky is everything. Grandma needs to get her eyes checked. Second of all, I guess Chris isn't the only old lady Rylan has to keep his eyes on. <laughs> I feel like that joke landed better in my head. <laughs> that is really? not what I expected, Mom. <laughs> really? Wow. I'm gonna cry. That's so nice. Well, I don't know. I just like you. Oh. <laughs> we just went. We came from the vet. What do you want to tell everyone, Grandma? Oh, she did. I already did. I already did my damage. <laughs> I love grandma, she's the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> Me, every time I post. <laughs> update. I update. Hi, <laughs> confusing timeline. Oh this is happening. happening. This one is life. Like, I know this is Fuck. broken, but still, let's just take a peek. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Like a creamsicle. Oh, it's such a perfect creamy nude for like right in the crease to blend everything out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Just the tones together. Oof. Yeah, I'm deceased. Mm. That's. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. This looks like every other palette ever. Whoa. Whoa. I'm just looking at these all together. Like, wow. Mm, yeah. This is I hate those moments when it's like if you were to close your eyes and just listen this could double as like um porn hub in the background Oof. Mm. it's so funny because i was like oh i don't want to do something too similar to conspiracy i don't want people to get mad or whatever. <laughs> it's like so different it's already so different i'm sure these already whoa 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 yeah. okay that Whoa. Yeah. I walked around and I put this dark hunter green on the end. Oh my god. Kind of just took it. There. You hear that? Jeffrey took it there. Okay, so Bruce. So do you have any deep personal intense questions? Nothing is off limits. You know, it's kind of like when you went through all that cancel stuff and how you dealt with that. I know you got into a dark place at that point, but now you seem so happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm just proud of you for, you were in a horrible place. California is just a nasty place. Yes, California is responsible for Shane having his history of blackface and inappropriate behavior towards children being revealed. That is California's fault. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> but look at you now. You're thriving. You're happy. You're... I love that. Oh my god, he's gonna be- you guys are good at this. What was the question? They're just handing out unwarranted compliments on camera. That's- this is not a deep dive or groundbreaking in any fashion. At all. Oh my god. Well, I mean, you guys are such a huge part of that. I mean, you know, I've always had family, but having so much family, it was so nice. Thank you for not throwing me away. <laughs> we throw you away. We're behind you. We got your back, man. Oh, I got oh. your guys' back. You got Shane's back. <laughs> yeah, you didn't throw me away. Okay. See, Grandma's confused by the timeline, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, Shane. Okay. You're the best. Oh. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> I can listen to Oh, my God. <laughs> This is like too nice. Somebody needs to say something mean. Okay, remember that time you stood in front of a poster of Willow Smith and simulated jerk? So we were sitting here and I've been trying to find something that is kind of like a new version of just a theory because it's like an everyday color. Mm -hmm. And then, oh hi. <laughs> and then I pulled this out and this was going to be in the original blood sugar palette. We never used it and it's in the vault and it's so pretty. Like, here, wait, okay, yeah. I can't get over it. Should we swatch? Oh. Ooh. Oh my God, the tone is like, Bronze, gold, it's oh, so yeah. Cool. Wow. Oh yeah, mix it with the arm hair and watch me cut. But we still have a few that we want to make in the lab, so I guess we're gonna do that. Now what timeline is this on? Is this in the past where we did the other palette creation or is this in the future from the past where we're talking about this creating this palette? Um, I just, I'm just curious because I have no idea 
um, what day it is or where I am. I thought of your question oh, yeah. what the hell. Let me think about it a little longer. What's it been like since you've been making content again? Has have things yeah. changed? I feel comfortable. I'm not like nervous about like saying the wrong thing. Is there anything you're doing really differently now purposefully than when you were creating stuff before? I don't watch anything that has my face in it. I don't have the news app on my phone so I never know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably bad. <laughs> but like, it stresses me out. There's so much negative shit that happens on the internet. I'm like, I don't want to see it. I don't have Twitter. I don't, I don't know. I just kind of live my life and hang out with them and have fun. <laughs> I like that the solution to a cancellation um, is always ignoring the world around you. I think the, the thing about like cancel culture, accountability culture, call out culture, whatever the hell you want to call it, is people have don't have a problem with it until they're being called out, right? And understandably, right? It's a, it's a big scary thing to be called out, especially on a grand scale. But if what you actually did was wrong, you need to be able to acknowledge that, apologize properly, and move forward showing growth. Those are the three steps. Maybe not necessarily to full forgiveness, but to come out of a cancellation where people are like, wow, what a shithead. They could have done so much better. I expected so much better from them. I would have liked to have seen a redemption for them. And instead being like, well, I deleted Twitter. Um, I don't read anything or watch anything about myself. Um, I know I'm right and I did fine, so bye. Yeah, cancel culture is going to suck if you can never admit that you were fully wrong and talk about it. Or if you're not going to talk about it, at least actually show growth. Some of the jokes that Shane still makes show me that there hasn't been much growth. So, <clears throat> that's all. Um, it has the lighting then. So you thought of your question? Okay, so I do have a question. Uh oh, okay. Do you really love my son? Yes. I'm kidding. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> no, I know you do. Well, this is where I get in trouble because I like to speak up and I can't say it online because I I was I had to quit talking online because I would like things when I you know <laughs> oh during the Jeffrey series. Okay. Do you want to talk about that? What about it? Okay, so I always feel like people acted like you did this big money grab. And you won't address it, plus you haven't talked about it with us. No. And I don't feel like it was a money grab. You, you started that documentary with Jeffree Star, and then you really got interested in what he was doing. And then it became a business opportunity and kind of something like, you get really excited when there's something new and you want to make it something of your own. Is that not the same as a money grab? Is that not the same? And I, I don't have any issue with a money grab. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think, yeah, it might have a little bit of a negative connotation because it does feel like um, an easy process for a simple product that makes a lot of money for sure. Um, so it sometimes feels like the effort isn't there. But I feel like the idea of it being a money grab isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's a collaboration. Any collaboration with big creators is a money grab. And you want to see what will happen. And you, you know what I mean? But for people to say it was a money grab has just always made me so mad because to me it was more about, gosh, let's see really what we can do here together and what we, what will happen if we do this. Yeah, but also like the collaboration in and of itself is a money grab. These palettes are already being made. The series was already able to be made. They just melded those two things together to collaborate and make something that they were able to hype over and over and over again into easy money. Like any hyped product on either of their channels together or respectively is technically a money grab. It wasn't like, oh yeah, let's, let's get rich off of this whole makeup thing. That wasn't no. it at all. It was more of excitement and it was excitement for the whole family. Like, the day you guys went to the Mall of America, I just sat here and watched every little news feed I could find on it. It was exciting. It was exciting for all of us. 
And then people just acted, oh, not everyone, but a lot of people acted like it was just a planned money grab. Let's say, let's leave out what I just said and say that it, it wasn't a money grab in my opinion. When Shane says that he never, he has no real interest in makeup, um, he lost interest in makeup and he, you know, doesn't care. Even if that's residual from being canceled or whatever. Um, he also tried to leave out one of the biggest parts of why people came to the series, which was all the drama getting shit. And he showed barely any interest in makeup again until he started working on the series with Jeffrey again. So it... <laughs> It's not like Shane has been doing makeup forever. And then he met Jeffree Star, did a series, and then was like, oh, this is perfect. I've always wanted to do makeup. I don't know. I'm on the fence. But again, I don't think that even if this is a money grab, even if it was a huge cash grab, get rich quick thing, I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think if you have the means to do that, then do it. As long as the quality is okay, and, and you're not promising something that it isn't, like the series, go for it. I don't address it because I do get upset about it and I just don't want to like, but here's what I'll say. Last year, uh, making that first palette was so fun, so creative, and making something with Jeffrey and seeing it from start to finish was like something I had never thought I'd be able to do or experience. It was literally like giving birth <laughs> to a child. Really? Let me know when the doctor stitches you back up from birthing a palette. It was that emotionally just overwhelming. So I learned a lot about myself and about the opinions of other people and what that means and how I take it in and all this stuff. Because if I wanted to do a money grab, like I've never done anything. You could do so many ways to do that, yeah. Yes, so many easier ways. Like I Yeah, it'd be like so easy, um, which is why exactly why Shane um, cried about um, his minimal profits um, from past merch sales and how he's been basically been getting screwed out of making a profit on products for years but it would be so easy if he just wanted to do a cash grab so either he was being disingenuous then or he's being disingenuous now and honestly i don't know the difference between then and now because we can't keep a straight timeline in this video i wouldn't have done a year-long documentary about it i wouldn't have spent my whole life editing it i wouldn't have almost lost my relationship over it because i was editing 24 hours a day i also think i overhyped in the series the money element because it was like fascinating like oh money 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 because yeah the truth of it is i did not make anywhere near what people think i made financial stuff aside like being very honest the first palette did very well but the cost of goods is crazy so like yes the palette made like 30 million whatever dollars but then the cost of goods was literally 20 million dollars oh you mean shane made less than 10 million dollars on the palette you're right it is not what we thought it was God, it's never what you think, you know? I thought he made a lot of money. So it's like, okay, take that away. And then after that, okay. you know, it was all the people involved in the company. Then after that, like my my cut, my 25% or whatever it was, was after so many cuts. And then after that, and then I gave my coworker at the time 25% of what I made from it. I'm gonna wager that coworker is Andrew. So after all was said and done with taxes and everything, yeah, it was a great amount of money that I'm so blessed and proud of and so grateful for because it helped with getting this house in Colorado and you know, but like, was it like I can retire now money? No. Right. Um, I don't know about you, but personally, I love listening to millionaires talk down their wealth. <laughs> it just makes me feel so good inside. <laughs> One time, um, I had a month where I could pay all of my bills, um, so I can relate. If somebody handed me enough money to where I could, like, retire and stuff, I don't know what I would do. It would... <laughs> it, I, I would be honest, if it was something that I regretted and I was like, oh, yeah, I just did that for the money and whatever, whatever, I would talk about it because I think that's interesting, like, reflecting on something, but yeah, that was not about the money at all. And... If I want to do a money grab, I wouldn't have put my whole soul and life into it. I wouldn't have spent 
so much time and money buying makeup, learning makeup, doing the series. Oh, we doing spent all hours practicing makeup. For people to say you really didn't care about it, I just, I would, I wanted to speak up and you're just like, no. Okay. Um, and then when Shane said that he lost interest in makeup, is that anything or? For some reason, it's kind of off topic. We don't talk about it. So you're saying anything is on the table today. So. Well, thank you. Wow, that got deep. Well, I'm sorry. I thought of, you asked me to think of things and I know that was off the table, the whole palette thing. And I, don't think I would it was off be the table. so mad. I would just be so mad at comments and. If I said anything, I, I felt like I got in trouble. It was more of a passionate thing, you know, and all of us really were excited about everything. We felt included, so thank you. Normally I like Vicky, and I still like Vicky, but like, Jesus Christ, how hard must we work to make Shane the victim here? Like, if you want to ask the real hard-hitting questions, maybe ask about um, why he felt the character of Shanene, a white man in blackface, was funny or okay. Like, do, does Ryland's family know or care about any of this? Or, like, do they live in the far-right Republican side of Colorado? Personally, if my child was engaged to somebody and all of this came to the surface, I would have some serious concerns. And I would have already had a Q&A with them about it. His parents are not public figures, but it just feels fucking weird that they just seem to be totally fine with the rest of that and the audience is to blame for the backlash and i just it's so oh that's heartburn it's great Ooh. Wait, sorry. <laughs> I'm just excited. Is that the logo? Oh my god! <laughs> so, we're back in the lab. <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> um, so, we have a couple colors here that we want to recreate. So, we want to recreate... Life is crazy. Bye, Shane! Matte crazy blue. Cool. As a matte? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fabulous. Crazy. The pigment that we use for that color yeah. is amazing. Is it okay that I'm bored? <laughs> because... There's no stakes in this video at all. Like there's not, a, there's no stakes. Everything is so low stake and so low energy and pointless. Wow. Okay, wait, that is. Oh my lord. Yeah. And then Shane would love to do like kind of like an icy white, but a little bit of like green pearl or blue pearl, like, like a green white. You know what I, mean? I just received a raw material. Let me show you. Ooh. This color. What the fuck? That, that is crazy. Oh, so this is like the shimmery green one. Oh, wow. Ooh! Okay, 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 okay. It looks so much Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, so here's this. Let's swatch it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. okay, we're there. Like, I don't mind a lot of these colors. I don't mind, like, this, this palette looks like a nice collection of neutrals and neutrals with shimmer but like this has just been like so far 45 minutes of swatching and Ryland's family making excuses for Shane okay ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay you just made me get so excited <laughs> put it nervous yes. <laughs> so basically what happened was me and Jeffrey were gonna do another palette and we literally made it. Like we, we haven't, we don't have the finished packaging, but we have the actual palette. And that was like back in February of 2020. Then obviously everything happened. And then on top of that COVID and just so many other things. You know your priorities are in order when the global pandemic comes second to your cancellation. So I ended up saying like, let's not do this you should take the shades and repurpose them if you want or like you know it's too much of a risk but also like i don't know if i'm ever gonna make anything on the internet ever again so and he was so great about it everything was cool but i have the palette here and i was like that would be kind of cool to show the palette because there's also a cool story with it and i think everything happens for a reason and i, I think there's so many reasons why the palette didn't happen give me a break shane it's going to happen that are positive so i just texted jeffrey and i was like hey I kind of think we should show it, talk about what happened. And also like, you know, I don't know, it could be kind of cool. Talk about what happened like K 
cancellation or talk about what happened like pandemic or like talk about what happened like what like what could you speak in more specific terms so that the audience doesn't have to guess what you're saying when you're mumbling in your vocal fry because i love it i wish we would have made it but i also now after everything happy we did sure which is why we're making it now but i asked him about it because i don't know if he would want to even do that and he just texted me back oh my god he's typing i'm scared why am i scared he's my friend but he he just said oh my god hi and now he's still typing because oh. there's legal things right like it's a company he runs a company there's a lot of people involved and like they might not want to show something that they had didn't sell because of who knows why. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Could be anything. <laughs> it's just anything at all. I don't know why. Nobody knows why. Where's the cat? Oh my god, what are you? Oh, it's an audio message. Wait. Oh, I'm sad. He might say no, and then I'll be sad, but I guess I'll just not eat money. Wait. Wait, I need to, I like to walk around. <laughs> Wow, that is so relatable. I like to watch content that is enjoyable. Okay, I was just finishing dinner and watching I Just Killed My Dad on Netflix. So how fitting. <laughs> I really miss you. I can't believe I am about to be in Wyoming in the winter. Like, what the fuck? Um, okay, let me answer your question. Of course you can. Whether I see you one day in 10 years, just so you know, I'm fucking down for anything. So, um... I think it would be really cool. Oh my god. The irony of it all, the name of it, everything. Like I said, if the palette isn't called cancelled, I don't know what we're doing here. It's just nuts, honestly. Like, it, it wasn't just a name. There's so many double entendres and it's so crazy looking back. So, um, would love it. Now, are you in LA? Are you in Colorado? I think it would be more impactful if we're sitting face to face. Just like, hi. And just fucking talking about everything or whatever you want to talk about. I could ask you questions about anything you want or vice versa, so let me know what you think. That is better. Face to face? <laughs> you know, this really takes me back to a time when Jeffree Star had a coveted voice note with allegations of assault that he paraded around to blackmail people. <laughs> Anyone remember that? Where'd that voice note go, huh? What happened to that? Like with the yaks? Oh my god, amazing. Wait, that, is that better? You want to go to the ranch? I mean, yeah, I want to go to the yak ranch. Should we do that? Can you do it? Are you free? Yes. Yes, Shane, of course I'm free. We've planned this for months. God, wait, is this, this is kind of everything. Wait, oh my god, is this a two point? <laughs> wait, is this a real series? Well, I didn't think that this was going to go this way. Wait, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad we left all this in so we could see how spontaneous this series is. This is crazy. <laughs> this was not, this seems very fake and planned. <laughs> can someone get Chris a paper bag before he passes out, please? Thank you. <laughs> like, I have no idea what how this video is going to end. And then Chris was like, you should show the palette. It's actually crazy now to think about it because earlier in this video, we talked about Jeffrey at the ranch, totally randomly. That's if I was still friends with him. I ripped my pants. <gasps> oh my god. Which happened the last time I started Jeffrey series. My actual pants. Like I ripped them. And Rylan's mom asked about the powder. <laughs> I swear. This is really weird. I told you, everything happens for a reason. Everything does happen for a reason. Which is why I'm about to launch myself straight out of that window. Pantone 666. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my Sarah god, this is Pantone 666. That's the shade Scorpio. What statue do I mean? Whoa. First of all, whoa, that's kind of scary, but I love it. Pretty sad. <laughs> Wait, oh my, oh my god. god. That is crazy. So, I, I didn't even know. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Jeffrey has died so many times in this video that, um, It's just kind of been a lot. Okay, whoa, this robo, I can't, actually can't. Wait, I love it. Fucking Danny. Wait, Danny. 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 Was it really? I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just the fact that it was, I don't know. I mean. No, I mean, it is exciting. I mean, I, I, I do love it. And I, I was excited to make it, but, and we'll get into it with Jeffrey, but, yeah. I have the palette here. It's in 
This isn't the palette, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is just from Amazon. It's like a magnet thing, but inside is the palette, so I have to make sure that this does not break. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. I can't believe you haven't shown us the f***ing palette. Could you just show us so I can go put my hand in the garbage disposal, turn it on, and be done with it? I can't believe this turned into an actual thing. Like, this video started as a joke. I know we're here. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, this is crazy. We've never flown together. There's a lot going on. Wow, there sure is a lot going on. All the while, there's absolutely nothing going on. <laughs> I almost feel like we need to separate yeah. and... Yeah, this turned into a whole thing. <laughs> so I haven't seen Jeffrey in person since... Oh my god. It's been a long time. So that's gonna be crazy to like see him again. Oh my god, I'm getting so excited. I love this build up about that. Like, I haven't seen Jeffrey in so long. You know, Jeffrey, the almighty evil one, Satan's vagina of makeup, <laughs> the one that like we put on such a weird pedestal in these videos because we have like similar things, but he's got like a a much stronger power dynamic in this relationship so like i treat him like he's royalty you know what i mean <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy this is crazy I met him only once but i loved him i know i think the last time you met him he showed you a picture of him sucking a dick on a private jet <laughs> Are we allowed to talk about that? Wow. That's just so Jeffrey. <laughs> I was like, Jeffrey, stop. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> you're just meeting him. Jeffrey's like, I would say he's like the crazy uncle that like you're like, oh, what's he gonna do? But um, he's more like the crazy rich uncle. And you're like, ooh, what's he gonna do? Jeffrey is the Regina George to your um well, I don't think she has a name, but she's the one with the heavy flow and the wine set vagina. That's your dynamic with Jeffree Star. Oh my god. Let's go! Okay, we've been here for a long time. It, like, literally, this is all in black and white, and you've shown us all of these colors already. Just show us the f***ing palette. Because are we re we're really going to go three, three episodes deep on this? Is any of it going to be interesting? Any of it. But I think it's getting there. I think it's getting there. I really it's like how really this close. looks. It's getting really close. Yeah, it's getting really close. What, you can't afford to fly private anymore? Oh, you really didn't make that much off the palette. I just want to say at this point in the video, um, when I watched it yesterday, um, and I say that very loosely, um, <clears throat> that sound of the FaceTime call coming through woke me up. My last note on this is um, I fell asleep because I did. But I want you to know the anxiety that that sound gave me set me up for a night full of nightmares. Stay tuned for the next episode where Jeffree Star might answer his FaceTime. Wow. That was a truly riveting experience. And like I said, I'm really never going to get these hours of my life back. So um, make sure you like the video and subscribe because for whatever reason, I'm going to be covering the other two. And if it doesn't kill me, I don't care. So this... Wow. Just earth shattering <laughs> earth shattering stuff guys i really can't wait for the next episode when we get to hear a bunch of self-deprecating jokes comparing shane to yaks um and you know jeffrey and shane proving to us all why they're the biggest victims of the internet and if not victims then the most uncancelable people on youtube or some such shit what did you think of this any thoughts, any opinions, leave them in the friggin' comments because that's what the comment section's for. Anyway, I am gonna go take a Tums. Wish me luck. My social media, uh, my Patreon, channel memberships, all those benefits, my merch, which I'm not wearing today, but I probably should have been. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make I Survived the Shane Dawson series t-shirts. Uh, all, all that shit is linked below. Check it out if you want to. Don't if you don't. I don't really care. I think that's all I got for today. Stay tuned for the outtakes and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
Let's go. It's like the Sahara down there right now. F you peppermint mocha. <laughs> so stupid. Just kidding. Jesus. <laughs> it's so thoughtful. 